Hello coders and welcome to episode 11 of our spreadsheet service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about how to control certain aspects of the Sheets UI. So the eight methods that I have listed down below all have to do with bounded scripts. So we're going to need a bounded script to run these methods. Again these, these methods are get UI, alert, prompt, show modal dialog, show mode less dialog, show sidebar, create add-on menu, and create menu. So let's jump into app script and get started coding. Again, to access these methods with get UI, you need to run the script within a bounded script. So if you remember from episode 0.4, we actually created this bounded script and it was attached to this container here, which is a sheets document. And so here we are in the bounded script and we have declared a constant called UI. So this is our first method and it's accessed directly from the spreadsheet app. And so this is actually kind of cool point right here. We don't have to, we don't have to say open by ID or open by URL because this is a bounded script and it knows that we are talking about this sheets document right here. So that's pretty cool. That makes it a little bit easier. So we're gonna save this, this method or this UI in a constant and call it UI. The next constant that we're saving is just HTML and we're going to talk about that later. So the first method that we're going to use from the UI class is called alert. So alert takes in three arguments. Let's just show you that right now. So the required parameter is a prompt but you can also add optional parameters say title or buttons. So the title of this alert is alert the prompt is this is an alert and then the button set has to come from a UI enum so that is accessed again through button set and then there are many different options you can choose okay okay cancel yes no or yes no cancel we're just going to select yes no for now and we'll save it we'll run it and then it won't complete until after we make an interaction so this is our alert that we just got, again the title's alert, this is an alert, we have our button set yes and no, and we also have a close, but let's just say yes, and, and then that's an alert. So if we wanted to store our response, say in a constant, or let's just say let, because that will change a lot, say response equals, and then now that will be ac accessible through our our variable response right here. So we don't need the response right now. Let's just get rid of that and then we'll say, we'll save it and then we will run this next one. So prompt is basically the same thing as alert except for now it will allow the user to type something in a text box. So before I do that, actually I'm going to say, I'm going to actually record the response this time. And then I'm going to say logger.log response.get response text. So if we wanted the button that they selected, we could say get selected button, but let's do get response text. Great. So let's save it and we'll run it. This time we're using the button set OK cancel. Again, it's running, but it's not going to complete until after we've made a response. So what is your favorite type of cheese? Let's just say American because that's a good type of cheese we'll say OK and then now that response was stored in this variable response and now we're gonna log out the response text so we're going to logs there it is right there American wonderful so let's get let's comment these out again the next one is show modal dialog so this is basically again the same thing as an alert and a prompt except for now we get to make our own HTML. So we get to make our own interface. And this is where the constant comes in. So I'm just making a very simple HTML output right here. And it's just this text surrounded by paragraph tags. And that is what is going to display. And then our title is going to be HTML. So we'll save it, we'll run it. Great, it ran. So here is our pop-up again. So here is the title. And we, I guess we can move it around as well and it says this interface was written in HTML. So this is all HTML right here and when if you build out your HTML it will look a little bit 
cooler and better and it will provide a lot more functionality. So that's great. So we'll exit out of that. Oh yeah, one more thing is just notice for now that all of this is grayed out and say if we wanted to click into A1 and type some stuff in, we can't do that. So that is where the next method comes into play and that's show mode list dialog. So it's the exact same thing as modal dialog except for now when we save and run and it's running, great. So now this is a modal but we can say if we wanted to type something into A1 we can say something like hi David but anyways we can re interact with the sheet while this is up, while this is displayed. So that's just I guess another good method to know. It could be something like a help box or something like that that could appear and then you could just type some stuff in and look at the help box at the same time. Anyways we're gonna close out of that and so that's mode less dialog. The next one is show sidebar. So the sidebar is kinda like a modal except for it's going to appear on on the side and this time it just takes a user interface so the HTML so again here's our HTML we're going to save it we're going to run it it's running now great it ran and then here is our interface so if you prefer like a sidebar instead of a modal you can do that you can type in all of the HTML and have it displayed right here again this is also a good method to know we're going to close it for now and we're going to comment it out. So the next two are creating menus. So this is, I'm going to, so when we say something like create add-on menu, it returns a menu and then you need to add more methods to it. I think I'm going to make another video on that just because this one's starting to get kind of long already. But for now, just know that when we create a add-on menu, and we add it to the UI, this is what is going to display. So we're adding the item, I need an alert. And when we run the function, we're gonna go into add on, see how like there's nothing right here, there's nothing on this. Uh, we just have get add-ons, but say if we save it and we run it. And now we can go into our add-ons menu and here it is, so bounded script, I need an alert. So here is our I need an alert and then alert me is the function that we would run and we would get this alert. So actually let's just do that right now just so that we can see that it works. So if we type, if we click that and then we get our you've been alerted alert which is exactly what this is. So this calls this function. Great. So that's the add-on menu. There's actually one more and that is just create menu. So creating a menu is if you wanted not at like if you wanted to access your functions not from the add-ons menu but just create a new a new selection entirely, you would run this function create menu. And then again, yeah, I'll get into all what all of this means later on, but say we save it and we run it. Right for, for right now, you can know that we're creating a menu and we're calling it custom functions. So there it is right there. So now we have another selection that we can click on. And so if you have custom functions, you can click here, custom function, and then you can create a, a, uh, a sub menu right here. It says alert me, so we'll run that function again. And here's our pop-up, here's our alert. It says you've been alerted, great. So that's something that's really useful to know if you have custom functions that your users who access this, this sheets document will be using a lot. You can put it up here in a menu selection button and then just run the function from there. Anyways guys, I hope you learned a lot in this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.